Those are some smooth wheels. I like that. All right, so today what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at the Milwaukee Packout Dolly. Now, this is model number 4822-8410. Now, the reason why I got this is because I got the Milwaukee Packout drawer system coming. I bought it from International Tool, and I'm actually hoping that I get it soon because I am going to use that for like a mechanic situation for when I work on the cars. So I got this because I got tired of rolling my pack out unit like this when it comes to the using the bottom unit and uh, using the handle to tilt it then I can move it this is $90 which in my opinion for this this should be like 45 to 50 dollars 90 dollars for this is a I think it's a little overpriced because this is just pretty much a little thicker than a top part unit of a full-sized pack out unit and then they've just put a few wheels on it now in my opinion way too pricey let's unbox this and actually see on how well this actually glides along the floor see how easy it is to actually have put your units on there and take them off when you need to without this uh going with your motion of taking the unit out all right so this is a total of 250 pound weight capacity so which means i could actually stand on this and it won't break so anything else Nope, that's pretty much it. It is a quick stop a loading level. Yeah, that's what that is. A smooth roll wheels. And so, yeah. So, it's pretty much just a pack out dolly. Love my Ryobi knife. So, some assembly is required. These are the wheels. And the unit itself, of course, it comes with instructions. And what's the warranty on this? Doesn't that say on the... It does not say on the box. But that is recycling. Alrighty, so let's uh, put this stuff together. Do the wheels. This should be, look at the size of those wheels. Those are, are those three inch wheels? Or four inch? Those wheels are actually pretty, pretty big and they do feel like that they have a rubber, a rubber coating on them. And they also come with springs. There's a spring right here. Comes with one spring. Wonder which one that is for. The spring is for the bar. All right, so let's put these on. This should be easy peasy. So there is a design because obviously the lock, there's only two of them that have locks. And I'm assuming that the two go in the front. Yeah, so this one should slide in easily. Yep, so the the one that do have the, the wheel locks go in the front, that should slide in easily. I put the spring in the wrong place. Spring goes right there. That goes in like so. one slid right in place there we go then put the pins in like that like that and that should pretty much be it so this needs to I think this is just so you can have your foot down to hold it in place while you take out a pack out unit that's in all the way yep now I got one more I got all of them in, so as you can see, this is flush now. There is no longer a gap. All right, let's put some uh, units on, actually. So let's I'd lock those back up. So that's one thing I am tired of is tilting this unit to move it a couple of feet so it's out of my way, so that's why I got this. And as you can see, got the peg out backpack. And these are, I got the wall mount. And these are all the units I have so far. And I can't wait to get the drawer system. So let's put to its purpose. Yeah, so yeah, you need that. You you, you don't even need those locked because you, you require this step to put it on. There we go.
There we go. Now, one thing I do want to mention, like I do in most of my pack out uh, units, pack out is a darn good way to store your firearm. It is a darn good way to store your firearm. Put this unit on top of there. Let's see how well this rolls. Yep, you could uh, just kick that loose, then you're good to go. That is much better, though. That is smooth. That is a smooth. Those are some smooth wheels. I like that. See now, that is so much better. Just gonna keep it there now. Instead of having something like this where you gotta, because uh, this will be pressed up against the wall, then do this, get it out of the way. Now, just gonna pull it back for when I need it moved. I, I like that. Like I said, should that cost $90? Absolutely not. That needs to be like 45 to 50. That, that's ridiculous for 90 bucks. Way more convenient just to do that than it is to have, to have this full and then you gotta do that then maneuver it to get that out of there. So yeah, this is way more convenient and that is why I got it. If you needed this video to motivate you to get this wheel system for your pack out unit, this is the video. I do wish that this was a lock and unlock lever. For $90, this should have been the lock, unlock, and the footstep to where you hold this in place so you could put your units on and off. Being in labor for like 25 years out of my life, this, I, that's what I would, uh, would assume that this is. You know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense for that just to be a footstep so you could put your units on. I, I, I thought this was a lock and unlock, but in every video, I majorly point out the flaw that I think of each individual thing and it from, uh, for me, it's that. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.